This is Florida Gulf Coast University. This is basically an advanced printmaking class. It's called Drawing the Line, so we focus on emphasizing line in our artwork. So we're using a lot of tools and media where you're working with detailed line work instead of focusing on color, shape, or form. There's a primary emphasis on line. So we're doing steamroller prints, which is pretty exciting for me because we're working on a really large scale. We're essentially given 30 by 40 inch masonite panels, and from there we decide which approach you want to take to it, where you can do a collagraph in which you're building on top of the surface, or woodcut where you're carving into the surface. And from there, you're gonna ink the plate, we're gonna run it over with a steamroller, and from there, pull off the print. Since the plates are so big, and we're trying to make like huge piece, and all of them together is even bigger, we are using the steamroller because it's the only thing closest to a press that could print something that big. We're working on a collaborative project where we are trying to emphasize the theme of how the Kalusahatchee River is being negatively affected by the pollution. Basically, it's in turmoil, and so all of us kind of wanted to do something that would make an impact on the world, you know, in a small scale. So we are going to put them together, I think they're in groups of six, and um, display them and hope that it brings some kind of just attention to the issue at hand. So essentially we're focusing on the death and decay of rivers and taking that interpretation and making it our own within our individual plates. I'm focusing on the contamination of life. So mine's a more abstract, non-representational image where these fetal embryonic-like forms and this sticky black decay around it. I did a mangrove tree. It's kind of like my personal icon of Florida, just because I see them so much everywhere. And it's also in the Kalusahatchee River. So I chose to do the mangrove tree without its leaves, so it looks like it's dying because of the pollution in the river. Mine is actually, this, it's a cellular form of a turtle that's sick kind of discussing the idea that it's not just the river that it's affected, it's affecting all of it, it's affecting the insides of some of these creatures that are going out into the rest of the sea and everything else, and so it's just, it's not just a small isolated thing, it, it spreads out to a larger area. So all together, all of the students, we're putting our plates next to one another and we're gonna have one continuous line running through them. What's really cool about this project is that this is a really talented group of people and everyone has such a, such a unique style and it's just really cool to see like what everyone comes up with and just having that one line that unifies the whole project. I hope whoever's watching it pays attention and you know takes care of the clues hatchy. <laughs> <laughs>